What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Justin Davis from Drone Camps RC and I am here to help you out in your journey in FPV again today. And I'm giving you this advice and mini review at the same time, kind of trying to steer you in a direction that will make it easier for you when you go out and fly, when you wanna charge your batteries, your phones, whatever devices you wanna charge. I set up a friend of mine, you might have saw back on the channel, uh, previously a couple months ago, we had Brandon Scheid on the channel. He had an accident uh, with a speed kite, fell down the side of a cliff and uh, ha got really banged up. And he also has a traumatic brain injury. So I wanted to hook him up with a drone. We went out and flew with him. But long story short, after I set him all up and had him flying, one of the things I gave to him next was a power bank. And I gave him kind of a portable small power bank to take out with him on his FPV adventures because once you get up there into the mountains, you know, you're trying to charge maybe batteries off your car battery. I've actually killed my car battery before. Uh, just out camping on a weekend, I was charging a bunch of batteries, went to start up the Volkswagen and dead battery. Um, so I've been looking for ways since these power banks came out to just charge batteries on the go. So this one for me, it came to me in a pretty small box. It, it surprised me because when I contacted the company, uh, eTaker, they make 2000 watt, 1000, they make a, a 600, and they also make this one, which is the 300. Now, it's interesting because I thought I was getting a huge box like this. And you know, this is kind of the standard size. This one's a little bit big and bulky. Uh, you kind of want to strap it down in your car or truck when you're driving, because if you slam on brakes, you don't want this thing flying up and uh, hitting the windshield or somebody in the car or, or yourself. This one is a little smaller. It's literally a quarter of the size, and it'll do most of the same thing that this one will, uh, aside from make me a cup pot of coffee. Now, this one will charge lipos it'll run all of my lipo chargers it'll charge my avada batteries at the same time and it will charge my phone and i think it's cool because it has two ac power ports on the front and pd 3.0 USB C here and three USB C ports uh, and it has this cool little attachment that you can get from e-taker it's like a, a little dc plug it plugs into this port right here and you can charge it while you're driving don't charge this thing when your car is off because you'll kill your battery again. But they also make this little cable that is essentially DC on this side, 12 volt cable. And then on the other side, it has two banana plugs. So you can plug it into your car battery and it has a mode on here. It has a function that will let you start your car. It'll charge up your battery to a nominal level and then it'll let you start your car off of this. So it actually has a car starting mode on here. And they say that you can get into that by pressing the DC button on top, holding it down for two seconds, and it puts it into car start mode. So yeah, not only can you charge your batteries and things on this, uh, it's more portable, it's smaller, it's just more convenient. It has a little handle on it, just pick it up and go and stick it in a book bag uh, or even your flight bag. Uh, much easier than traveling with one of these. So uh, I think it's cool. It seems like some of this stuff, I'm hoping to see that the high-end power starts to get smaller. And that, that's what I'm hoping for for the next couple of years. Like I'd love to see a thousand watt charger like at this size, that would be awesome. Um, so yeah, and it also has solar hookups on it as well. So you can hook up a solar panel to it. They have the combo where you can get this and a set of solar panels so you can charge it when you're out on your camping trips. But I thought it was pretty cool for camping trips. It has rubber feet on it and it also charges with an AC adapter that I got right here. It has the USB-C in and out port right here. Um, and you have an input for DC on the right hand side. But let's take a little closer look at this now and I'll show you kind of some of the functions and how the display works. And on the back, we even have an LED light if you're camping. So that's pretty cool if you're tent camping uh, or you're not trying to light up a picnic table at night or do some quad work. Okay, so let me show you around this super awesome tiny little portable power bank right now on the screen you can see it's at 97 percent it says time to empty on there as well 
30 hours, 30.7 hours, and that's gonna change if you hook things up. So it's kind of cool to see that you can have an idea, a visual of when this battery is gonna be completely dead. We have our output power for watts here, and a lot of times when I'm testing these batteries, I always have an eye on how much output power I'm outputting because I don't want to get to my max power because what happens is it has over voltage protection and it'll kind of turn itself off and you'll have to unplug some things and restart it. Uh, if you long press on the buttons on the top, it'll turn things on and off here, the DC, the USB, and the AC, as well as the light on the back. Uh, and I think that the lights on the back look pretty nice. It looks like a kind of a quality design. Let me go ahead and back it up here. And if it long press on LED, it will turn that on. It's super bright. Um, if I press it again, it gets even brighter. It's probably brighter than my largest power bank that I have. If you need roadside assistance, you know, you can sit this by your car and keep people from slamming into the back of you. It also has a strobe if you're way out in the mountains and you need help, uh, which is kind of cool to get somebody's attention. Maybe an airplane flying by and then, and that's off. And again, long press LED to turn it on. But look at the very top. This is pretty cool. Um, you'd kind of have to see this one in person to kind of really tell what the quality is like. It has this kind of cool finish on the metal. This is plastic across the top, but I really like the, the four buttons on the top. Uh, if I long press DC again, it'll turn that on. USB, I can long press and turn that on or off. AC here and LED there. Um, super convenient, kind of just easy interface and again if you long press DC it'll put it into car start mode so once you plug in your DC port right here you can plug into the cigarette lighter of your car and it'll charge your car battery through your cigarette lighter um, that is pretty cool and then once you've been charging it for about they said like 60 30 to 60 seconds you can try to start your car off of this so that that's another option that I think is super cool that's built into it so let me go ahead and turn on the USB we have five, three five volt uh, USB 2.0s on the front there with 2.4 amp charging on each one. At the very bottom, we got the PD input right there or output, and it's a 100 watt PD 3.0 charger for USB-C, which is pretty freaking sweet for charging my iPhone. Uh, if I wanna do a quick charge on my iPhone, I'm gonna use this one instead of the 2.4 amp. 2.4 amp, you know, it takes like half an hour to get a full charge on your phone. So I'm charging there on the phone and let me go ahead and plug in my DJI Avada battery here. I can plug it into one of the USB ports, plug that into the side of my Avada battery. Now I'm charging my Avada battery, charging the phone. And now I can go ahead and plug in to the AC port. Just gonna long press there, turn that on, you can see. And right now, I'm at the frequency of 60 hertz. You can change the frequency, uh, the, the frequency, I can't say that word today, frequency of the power. Um, different regions have different frequencies. So it's kind of cool. It's set to 60 for US frequency. And now I'm charging my Avada battery, my phone, and let's go ahead and put a LiPo on there. Plug that in. And this, and this thing is just so cool to me. Um, I love power banks, and you'll, you'll see power banks on my channel from time to time. So this is a LiPo, it's almost charged, but let's go ahead and set that up to 1.3 amp. It's a 6S, or actually 4S, 1300 milliamp battery. And now we're charging my LiPo, my phone, and my Avada my original Avada battery. And I could probably bring my Avada 2 over here and start charging that one as well. You can also use your DC 12 volt here as well if you wanted to plug in something there. But right now, all the stuff I'm charging, we're only at like, we're only outputting 40 watt. So I mean, I, I could still plug other things in here. Um, if you bring something along camping with you like this, I love these little devices. We call this at my house, the Tower of Power. Um, it just has a whole bunch of USB ports and a regular standard two prong plug. AC port comes out right here and plugs in here. So it's so cool that this one, it doesn't have two three prongs, which I would love to see, but it does have a secondary AC port there. So you can have two AC power cords in there at a time. Uh, I just think that's awesome. And 
it's nice to have one because then you can charge up your laptop as well from the power bank. Uh, but I should be, you know, <laughs> I should be losing the full charge on this sooner now because look, it says time to empty, 5.7 hours. And as I unplug things, let's go ahead and turn off the wattage on the charger here. I'll stop that. Now, see how it went directly up to 6.3, 6.8, 7, 7.4. So it's still powering this, and we're still pulling 15 watts. But once I unplug that, this time to empty, digital display keeps going up. So it's at 10 right now, 10, 9, 11 hours. Isn't that cool? That's pretty cool. Um, my other larger charger from Alpha ESS doesn't have that option on there. Uh, so if you're out camping somewhere for the weekend, that's kind of a good thing to keep an eye on, and it lets you know when you, you're going to need to probably put a charge back on this. You don't really want to run these down to like completely dead. Now I take this one off, unplug the Avada, goes up to 12 hours, 12.8, 13.2, 13.6, 14. So, you know, we, we could charge my iPhone for um, 20 hours. It looks like it's going to go all the way up to 20. It says 18.1. 18 hours total. So now it says we're outputting 5 watt to the phone. So that's pretty cool. And that port should be able to handle 100 watt, depending on what type of USB-C device you need to charge up. So, and before I let you go, I had to show you a couple more things. It, the size and scale of this is ridiculous. I mean, 7.7 .7 pounds versus like 40 pounds. This one has been much easier to just throw in a bag, cover up in the car. Uh, this one, I've, I've had to get like a towel or something and throw over it so that people don't kind of see it in the car. Um, it's just a lot larger to deal with than this, this little guy. But what I thought was cool about it was that car start uh, mode that it has, and it comes with this cigarette lighter cable. So plug this into the cigarette lighter of your car, and then you plug it in here. And to get it into car start mode, it's pretty easy. You just press DC over on the far left right here, this top button. Press it twice, real fast, and it'll light up and say car start. Right there, you can kind of see it flashing on the screen. So now it's in car start mode, and it's charging your car battery. So it's outputting at 12 amp um, to your 12 volt battery. And it does say it outputs 12 on the very front right here. So. Once it gets to full charge capacity on your car battery, you can try to start up your, your car. And this should go solid when it's done charging your car battery. So it'll stop flashing, go solid, and then you can start your car. I mean, that comes in handy if you're out in the middle of nowhere flying, and for some odd reason, maybe it's the middle of the winter or whatever, and your car battery dies, you can restart it with this little guy. Um, even for your wife or somebody to have on the road, this would be pretty cool. Maybe your daughter. Um, I used to usually travel with some kind of battery starter in my SUV uh, in my 20s and always have like, <laughs> like a little uh, uh, tire pump and a patch kit. Just, you know, some of the, the basics that you need to have when you're on the road. So I like it. It's small. It's portable. It has a lot of cool functions on it. Um, and it will charge pretty much all of my things. And most importantly, it'll charge my LiPos. So that's what I like. Uh, but hopefully this video helped you today. If you're probably looking for a power bank because you're into FPV hobby, uh, that's like one of your best friends in the FPV hobby. It really, really helps you out when you go out for the day. So this is my new go-to one right here because of how small it is and, you know, it has minimal functions, but it can pretty much do anything I need to do. But you can check it out in the link down below, guys. Hopefully you appreciated this review. And... Take care, everybody. Happy flying. And I will see you on the next one.